Today we're trying two easy, keto-friendly chocolate recipes. And this video is sponsored by Thrive Market, but more about them later. If you're new here, my twin sister Sarah and I have lost 160 pounds since 2019 following a ketogenic lifestyle. And on this channel, we love trying and testing recipes for all of you. That means that we're spending a lot of time scrolling through our phones or TikTok, Instagram, looking for recipes that catch our eye. Sarah and I have had a dark past with chocolate here on our channel because the last time we did it, we really messed it up and it ended up looking like turds. We ate it anyway though, and it did taste good. It just didn't look good. Anyway, when I saw these recipes, I thought these look simple enough that even we couldn't mess them up. And they are not questionable, but we just don't know if they're gonna work out. The first recipe is for a one ingredient mousse by Little Sipper Official. While this recipe does say one ingredient, it is actually two, but water doesn't count as an ingredient. So that's what you're gonna be needing. You're gonna be needing your favorite keto-friendly chocolate chips and water. And we actually got our chocolate from Thrive Market, who is the sponsor of this video. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone with guaranteed savings on every order. On this order, we saved over $14. We know that so many of you guys do not live near a grocery store that sells keto-friendly options, and Thrive Market does. And Sarah and I love going online or in the app, selecting keto and seeing all of the new products that they have to offer. We get our staples from Thrive Market, like almond flour, coconut flour, and keto-friendly sweeteners but we love trying new things. Like this Kaizen Kabatapi. Sarah and I are super impressed with Kaizen products and they have a variety of them on Thrive Market's website. You can join Thrive Market for just $12 a month or you can get an annual subscription for $59.95. And one of the great things about Thrive Market is that orders over $49 ship for free. As a Thrive Market member, you're gonna save on every order and if you find a cheaper price elsewhere, they're gonna match it for you. And who doesn't love cash back? Look for products with a Thrive Cash badge on the bottom left corner and you're gonna get cash back when you purchase that item. And once you join, you can check out the deals page and you're gonna get even more savings on those items. Thrive Market has a special deal for the Keto Twins community. Use our special link, link in the description, thrivemarket.com slash Keto Twins, and you're gonna get 30% off your first order plus a free gift of up to $60. Thanks so much to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video and let's start making some chocolate delights. The reason why I don't think this is gonna work, I'm just gonna say that out loud, is because it's just water and chocolate chips. How could that be good? But I have hope because it looks like a mousse in the video, and so why can't we do that too? You're gonna need two and a half cups of water and one cup of chocolate chips. We're gonna take these ingredients, we're gonna put them into our blender. You're gonna want the water to double in volume, like it's gonna look frothy. I'm already questioning it. Is the water hot? Is it cold? I would think that you want your water at least on the warm side because how are you gonna break up our, this chocolate if it's not at least warm? What do you how think? How about lukewarm? Lukewarm, we're gonna go with lukewarm chocolate. No, we're gonna go with lukewarm water, two and a half cups into our blender. It's eerily simple so far. Don't forget these two. Two minutes. Interesting. Well, it does kind of look moose-like, surprisingly. I'm just gonna be honest, I don't have the patience to wait overnight. I don't live here. I don't know if you guys don't know that. I don't live here. She wishes she did. Yeah, no I don't. I want to put this in the freezer instead of the refrigerator so that we can try this today. We had to reblend it because in the time that I spent talking to the camera, it deflated. So there is a hint for you. It started separating. It started separating. This needs to go into the bowl as soon as possible. If not, it's gonna be flat. Gently. This is me doing it gently. Carefully. I, this is me doing it carefully. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay. I'm scared. So while our chocolate mousse firms up or does whatever it's supposed to do in the refrigerator slash freezer, we're gonna go to our next keto chocolate recipe, which I also don't know how it's gonna turn out. Keto bone broth hot chocolate. We decided to go with the one with the least amount of ingredients. This recipe is by Molly McCarthy. What is your passcode? What you're gonna be needing for this recipe is bone broth. They didn't really specify what kind. I suppose you could use chicken, but for some reason, beef bone broth just feels right. But we got this one from Drive Market. This is uh, two servings of one cup of bone broth. You're gonna be needing coconut milk, cocoa powder, and your favorite keto-friendly maple syrup placement. 
And some of you might be asking, why would I drink bone broth in my hot chocolate? And apparently bone broth has a wide variety of benefits, including healing and sealing your gut lining, improving digestion, boosting immunity, and mood enhancing. I could use that right now. So I have my doubts about this, honestly. I think I'm gonna, it's gonna taste like beef, chocolate beef. Hopefully not. We're gonna start putting this into a pot and simmering it slowly. And then you're supposed to top it with coconut cream. We're actually probably gonna be putting actual whipped cream on this just because you're not gonna fool me with coconut cream. It has to be whipped cream, so. <laughs> Smells like a nice minestrone, I don't know. Mm. So this is two cups of beef, <laughs> beef minestrone. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna add in our coconut milk. Give it a nice stir. It looks like hot chocolate already, look at that. Some people ask us why. Why we try these recipes, why we make content. Who else would? We're just two weirdos in the kitchen, okay? We're having fun. Subscribe if you like our weird antics. Keto-friendly maple syrup, which is not actually maple syrup at all. Cocoa powder. This is where it's all gonna come together. We're just gonna let this kind of thicken and simmer forever. <laughs> so I have to try it. We're straying from the recipe because Sarah is convinced that, you know, one tablespoon of keto syrup is not gonna be enough to sweeten this. So we're just gonna do a shot of uh, liquid stevia. A squirt, not a, a squirt. Shot. A squirt. A shot would be terrible. A one second squirt. Is that enough, you think? Yeah, I think so. Okay. We're gonna let it simmer, and then we're gonna top it with some whipped cream, and then I gotta go home, because I have other stuff to no, do. No, we're going downstairs, and we're gonna try it. Okay, first up, the chocolate mousse, if you will. Okay. Yeah, kind of tastes like an icy. Yeah. It tastes oh good because Lily's chocolate chips are good. Mm -hmm. They're just like, I miss like the creamy texture. I feel like maybe blending it with cream would have been better. I don't then know it's how you not, do that. Then it's not one ingredient. Yeah. Um, it's all right. It's kind of like frozen chocolate right. water. I mean, what, what, what else <laughs> did I expect? Would you make this again? It turned out okay. It kind of reminds me if you froze a Wendy's Frosty. Right. It tastes like this, so. That's the end of the video. No. <laughs> Here is our bone broth hot chocolate. I feel like I'm getting a hint of something. Beef. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't go too close to it. When it was cooking, it smelled like chocolate. Right. But now as it's settling, it doesn't, so. It does smell like chocolate, but it yeah. smells also like beef soup. <laughs> All right, buddy. Oh, our dogs came down. One, two, three. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's not terrible, but it's like now that you know, if I made it without you knowing, like some people are like, can they, someone just make me this but not tell me that bone broth is in it? And that's how I kind of feel about it. If you didn't tell me that there was bone broth in this, I wouldn't know. But I don't think I would drink this willingly. It's got hints of beef, beef behind it. Yeah, maybe you know? chicken would be the better option. <laughs> I don't know. Chicken is less, um, it's more neutral, no? And now know. maybe not like a, a fish stock would not be. Wise. I am not revolted by it. I think I would just rather drink beef broth by itself or hot chocolate yeah. by itself than adding the two together. You're not fooling me with this one, mm -mm. but I mean, there might be some people that like that type of beef chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> we um, like trying new things, so yeah. I don't really, it's just not my taste. No. So I still think that we're on the hunt for really easy chocolate recipes that even we can do. Uh, this was a start, but we're always up for trying new ones. So let us know in the comment section below if you guys have any ones that you want us to try. And remember to join Thrive Market using our special link, thrivemarket.com slash keto twins, and you're gonna get 30% off your first order plus a free gift of up to $60. If you wanna see us make keto-friendly Twix and Snickers, that was bad, <laughs> but it was funny. Yeah. You can click right here and we will see you over there. Anyway, I'm Emily. And I'm Sarah. And, and we are the Keto, Keto Twins, Twins signing, signing out. out. Everybody loves Henry. Everybody loves Henry because he's nice. He's a good person. He's a boy. <laughs>